for the crypto space heading into a full-blown NFT frenzy right now, you've got to ask yourself, how the hell do I get in for some quick gains? And yeah, I'm guessing if you aren't already in the space, you're going to be feeling somewhat of a little bit of FOMO right now. Now, if you're like me, it's easy enough to say, yeah, let's just jump in and buy an NFT, but you're gonna be scratching your head pretty quickly as at least one of the following questions will pop up. How the hell do I know what NFT is gonna make me the most money? What marketplace am I going to have to buy it on? Is it gonna be refinable and using the Binance Smart Chain or something like OpenSea where it utilizes the Ethereum network? There just are so many. And how the hell do I actually sell these to make some quick money. These questions are just a few on a huge list I had until I stumbled across an NFT multi-chain platform that literally answered all my questions. You see, why isn't just your average NFT marketplace? No, 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 no. Why is an NFT marketplace that caters for every user's needs that some platforms didn't even know existed? Now, why is specifically designed to cater for the NFT resale market across multiple blockchains so that the NFT beginner can enter this undervalued market seamlessly? Such as their vision, all roads lead to YU. YU believes in tokenizing things like collectibles, art, music, content, property, and everything in between. Now, mass crypto adoption is on the horizon, as we should all be well aware, and to have everything in the one place ensures a bright future for the cryptocurrency at play, and this is YU. Oh, also, did I mention that YU is actually built on the Solana framework? Well, hello everyone, my name is Kyron from No BS Crypto, and in today's video, I will be reviewing YU, a brand new cryptocurrency that will actually be coming out technically today. Now, if you're new around here, I post two videos a week. One is on a cryptocurrency I believe will 100X, and the second is a recommendation from you guys to review any cryptocurrency where I rate that on my BSO meter. Now, I wanna make you all well aware, today's video is a paid uh, promotion from the YU team. So I'll be producing the hard facts for you guys and a little bit of an analysis from myself at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Also, if you were looking at entering this coin, more info will be at the end of the video. So stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, let's move into it. So first of all, the name of the cryptocurrency obviously is YU, and uh, it actually is quite a nice name. I don't really mind it. It's a bit hard to pronounce if you're not too used to saying it, but that's like most things in the cryptocurrency space, so I can't knock them down for that. Now, the logo is quite fitting as well. I do like the simplicity of it, and um, I do think it is, it is nice in design, you could say. Nothing too fancy, nothing too uh, underwhelming there. Now the ticker is also YU, but this obviously won't be available until later today, so keep that in mind. And uh, if you are obviously, again, interested in purchasing this cryptocurrency on PancakeSwap, where it is releasing its IDO, uh, stay tuned for the end of the video, more details on that. All right, let's discuss four hardcore facts. Okay, so the first, uh, it is multi-chain compatible, so that pretty much means it's gonna be compatible with a lot of the large blockchains, um, which I'll be discussing in a second, which is really, really interesting, and it'll be available immediately, which I find uh, exceptional, okay? Um, also, they'll be making a bridge between the Solana and Binance Smart Chain blockchains, which allows users to easily transfer funds between the two, which I find amazing as well. Now, the next is resale NFTs, no matter where they were minted. Uh, which I find absolutely amazing. So no matter what the platform or the token they were minted on, uh, you can obviously come on YU and actually be able to sell that. Now, this is actually really, really undervalued and I find is an exceptional accomplishment from the YU team. Like, seriously, put in perspective, if you can imagine a place like Amazon, Wish, and even eBay all combined, that not only allows the people that are wanting to buy a cryptocurrency to use, but also sellers to reach those three major platforms. And that is essentially what YU is, except the NFT version. So the next is customer service like no other. Now this is a foreign concept, at least from what I've gathered in the NFT marketplace world. And the fact that YU really, really stresses how important their customer service is going to be and how many resources they're putting towards that, 
I find absolutely amazing and hands down give them a big pat on the back for that. It's a very, very foreign concept to most of us and I'm the same. So to have a place where you can go to contact a support team or just simply ask a question is absolutely perfect and what you'd like to see in some sort of foreign uh, concept like NFTs. Now finally creating a one-stop shop and that is exactly what this team have created here, a one-stop shop where you don't have to use any other NFT platform and if you have, you can definitely bring everything onto the one and then sell it on uh, the YU marketplace. So I find this absolutely amazing and so simple and what they're trying to do here is reach mass adoption. Now, if you know me, mass adoption is absolutely coming to the crypto space and in order to make a cryptocurrency reach a mass sort of market, you need to make it simple and you need to be able to give it the resources so that people can easily understand a concept or obviously ask for support or go across multiple chains. And that is exactly what Y is doing. So hands down, another big, big tick in the box there from what I have seen. Now, this is what I was talking about briefly before. Now, I've got five wallet integrations on the screen here. Now, these guys are gonna be launching, okay, launching with at least five integrations right off the rip. So we've got Solana, huge, huge platform, Binance, Smart Chain, again, hands down a massive platform, Polygon Network, Ethereum, and Cardano. Obviously, you guys have all heard of these, and I just find it so amazing how these guys are launching with these big names already in mind and already integrated with. So, I mean, what more could you honestly ask for? Now, in saying that, I'm gonna actually read you verbatim what they actually have on their white paper. Pull it up on screen now and go through that with you because I actually find it very, very interesting, and I don't really want to put it in my own words. I think they sum it up perfectly. So multi blockchain slash multi token standard accessible. So the multi chain functionality is the heart of the YU platform. These multi chain features combined with the Y user experience will be the key to market penetration and market share. The importance of interoperability between blockchains is a common topic of discussion in the cryptocurrency community. The inability to transact across multiple blockchains has resulted in fragmented technology ecosystem tribalism and adoptive barriers why is solving these issues in the nft space and is dedicated to bringing everyone together regardless of where they came from and how they want to participate so the majority of the core why team consisting of blockchain engineers who have been working in the space for many years there is a strong understanding of the challenges that come with building a multi-chain platform of course is a very difficult thing to do this specialized team has developed a technical roadmap that allows any blockchain standard to be transferable and accessible via the YU protocol. YU will launch with an advanced accessibility and will include at least five blockchains as well as several NFT standards. So that is what it'll pretty much look like here to be able to connect your different wallets which is absolutely outstanding. I'm sure you guys understand what that is. It's not written in that uh, complicated English. So I'm sure you guys well and truly understand what they're trying to do and how hard they've actually been working behind the scenes to ensure that they do have a large, large base to stand on when launching, which is actually making me so bullish on the launch date um, so I'm really, really excited to what they can what they can do here. So I'm not too sure how well you guys can see the tokenomics chart on the screen now. So what I might just do is put up a larger screenshot uh, above it, just so you can um, see it a bit easier on YouTube. Now, first thing that comes to mind is the five billion token supply, and this is uh, obviously quite a lot of tokens. But there's a fair few use cases for the YU token. Um, there's a few fees that come out of um, when you actually use, buy, or sell the token. And um, they're also coming out with a new token use case altogether. So 5 billion tokens is absolutely warranted and I'm not stressed at all there. Now, as we can see from the screenshot as well, uh, most of the percentage is actually going towards the ecosystem and also some is going obviously to um, the public launch, which is fantastic to see. And we can see a total of 10% between the seed round and the team. Uh, which is really, really good to see because that actually indicates that the larger whales won't have access uh, to a lot of tokens to dump on, uh, on, on the retail investors like you and I. Um, you could also argue that uh, the 10% for, which you probably can't see on the screen now, but there's an extra 10% um, for the private sale investors, but I'm not gonna really include that in the total amount because 
really anyone can actually put any sort of amount in that sale, um, you know, between $100, $200, $300, and I wouldn't really classify them as a whale of such. So regardless, let's just go up and down this list here and have a look at um, what percentage and what price uh, of the token that it was purchased at. So the seed round had 5%, as I mentioned, at a price of uh, 0.3 cents USD. Open private sale was 19% at 0.5 of a cent. Public launch 1% at uh, 0.7 of a US cent. Uh, lock liquidity is 15. Foundation treasury 35. It's great to see that they have a lot of a uh, percentage there. Dow community uh, mining, which is 20%. Again, a large amount of the supply there, which is great. And the team only 5%, which is also fantastic. So again, really important that most of the percentage is going back into the ecosystem and isn't being fed to the larger whales. Now for the economics. So the YU token actually incurs a 4% fee on every single trade. Now this 4% fee is distributed in three different ways and the most important is 25% actually goes back to the holders. Now this is constant and this actually happens automatically which is fantastic. Um, you will be able to see your YU increasing in your wallet every single day which again is just earning you passive income. So 50% of that will then go to creating additional liquidity and the remaining 25% of that um, is actually burned, which um, as we all know, in a burning structure, that creates uh, more of a demand for the cryptocurrency. Now, this is why um, it's called the YU Rewards Token. Um, however, in October, as I mentioned previously, um, they're actually coming out with a YU Platform Token that will not have any fees attached to it, so you will then have a choice between the two, which is absolutely fantastic to see. Now, it's important to note that this current uh, example of the token is not really suitable for any DeFi or liquidity pool purposes. Um, if you do actually add liquidity to YU on PancakeSwap, you're gonna actually lose some of the rewards and PancakeSwap only pays out about 0.3% in fees on transactions, but actually holding the token gives you a whole extra percent more. So you do not obviously want to do anything apart from hodl the token for the most uh, rewards, which is simply the least you can do, and you're obviously getting the most back. Now let's actually go through the website briefly and have a look at what it actually looks like. All right, so as we can tell people, we are on the website, and now if you know me, first things first, it's got to have a beautiful design, and I think why you hit that on the spot. I love the gradient colors. I love the dark features, and as you're gonna be able to see soon, I love the simplicity. So let's just go through from top left to bottom right and actually uncover what we're seeing here. So as we can see, the YU token up the top there, home, platform, white paper, which I suggest you obviously have a read of, and the platform obviously is in regards to the marketplace itself. Buy NFTs and sell NFTs. Now these are coming soon. Obviously, the platform hasn't released yet, and they will need to release it in order to actually utilize the YU token. Connect wallet up the top right here. And as we can see here, the YU tokens ticker, uh, the IDO on PancakeSwap and it's 19 hours away. So if you are watching this video guys and you are excited for what is coming up and the token itself, mark it down and set a uh, alarm, okay? Now powered by Binance Smart Chain and Solana, as we know, it is actually built off the Solana framework. Now, what is why you token? Actually, I do highly suggest you give this video a watch. This guy actually goes into some really, really great details. So yeah, do that in your own time. Now, what is why you guys can read this? It's pretty much exactly what I've already said to you. Sign up for early access, not really required at the moment. We're pretty much there. And just some more information on the token use cases here. And as I mentioned, a nice little chart here on the tokenomics. So down here, you're gonna be able to see something I've already displayed on the screen at the start of the video. But to briefly touch on it, as we can see here, why you ticks boxes, other uh, NFT platforms don't even know really existed. I mean, I thought Refinable was a smash hit cryptocurrency uh, in terms of NFTs, and I'm sure it still is. But as you can see here, it just doesn't come close to why you, and neither does OpenSea, okay? Now, it's just unbelievable what these guys are doing. So I do suggest you guys really do consider potentially investing in this cryptocurrency. Now that, that is not financial advice, but I'm just bringing you the hardcore facts here. 
you know, the team. So the team obviously is very important in a cryptocurrency. You wanna make sure that the uh, full face, full name, and the job description is mentioned from the team. And that is exactly what we can see here. One thing they don't have is a link to uh, their social platforms, either Twitter or LinkedIn, which is absolutely fine. Uh, we can actually go and do that ourselves. Although I would like to see a link here just to make it a bit easier for uh, people that are coming on for the first time to be able to access uh, them. Now, let me let me make something very, very clear. These guys are actually one of the only crypto platforms that have actually made it very, very easy for me to communicate with, okay? You don't see that too often, and for these guys to just instantly be able to communicate with me is fantastic, okay? That means that they're obviously very, very dedicated, and as I mentioned, they're user-centric, okay? Now, moving down here, I do suggest you guys actually follow them for updates. YouTube, Twitter, um, Telegram, and of course, Instagram. Now, it's great to see that they're actually utilizing YouTube here and not just you know throwing everything on, a, on an article, like a Medium page. So they are moving towards that more digital um, atmosphere. So that's pretty much gonna do the main page, guys. So that's my take on it, at least. Everything pretty much ticks all the boxes, except I would like links directly to the team's socials. Now, very important piece of information in any cryptocurrency is the roadmap. And let's just go through and have a look at what is coming up for YU in the near future so that we know how bullish you should be on this cryptocurrency. So we are currently in quarter three of 2021 and we've got the Solana YU token creation, which obviously um, is coming up. Um, the Solana whitelist lottery and airdrop, which actually has already happened. The public sale, which is on today and the pancake swap liquidity pool launch. Obviously, uh, they don't recommend you do that as of yet uh, because you're obviously getting more rewards just holding the token. Now, quarter four of 2021, we can see locked liquidity launch on pancake swap, exchange partners coming up, uh, YU Academy and YU Data Validator Network. Now, I don't have any more information on the specifics on these, but I would just take it as it is actually saying it. So. I would say obviously exchange partners, meaning that they're obviously gonna be launching on some new exchanges there, which is obviously a great indication for us to actually take some profits and reinvest in for the long term. Remember, we're getting passive rewards from holding this token. Now in 2022, we have Ethereum, Polkadot, and Elrond. I'm guessing that they're also adding those into the wallet extensions as well. YU Data Validator Network, YU DAO, very important there. YU proposal system and YU NFT in the DeFi space as well. So 2022 has some huge events coming up and this is just giving us great indication as to why we should possibly be looking at holding this token past this year. Obviously, keeping in mind there is an imminent bear market coming up. So obviously, do your research and um, obviously invest for the long term at your own risk. Okay, so let's sum it all up now, guys. So how do you get involved? So obviously, as I've mentioned, it's IDO is on PancakeSwap on the 31st of August at 2 p.m. UTC. And as you can tell from the screenshot, this was done one day and one hour before, but as we saw before, it's about 19 hours from now, so keep that in mind. Now, considering this NFT platform is a gem in of itself, where could I see this heading on launch day? And I think to do that, let's actually compare that with another NFT platform that I have already reviewed, and that's of course, Refinable. Now we all remember that Refinable shot up in price well over 100X, and yes, although controversial, it did propose a median to what Y you can also accomplish. Now with this in mind, and considering the NFT space is so freaking hot right now, as well as the fact that Y offers so many incredible features. I could see this currency shooting up just as far. Now, what I am not doing is implying that if you invest, you will receive similar results because the fact of the matter is anything launching as an IDO is very dangerous and volatile, as we also saw with many people getting wrecked on Refinable. So if you are looking at purchasing, please have a plan in place before for investing. So what are my final thoughts on YU? Well, I do want to get something very, very clear. I was actually brought this project by the YU team to discuss it with you guys. Although I wouldn't bring you a cryptocurrency that I didn't somewhat believe in and especially wouldn't put you in a potential risky situation. After all, this is no BS crypto. However, after doing some research and digging into the tokens white paper, I couldn't help but get a little bit excited. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not a fan of NFTs and this creates a big gap in my content. So I thought, what better way to learn more about NFTs than by reviewing YU? 
But after many hours of research, I began to get really, really excited at the potential here. Remember everyone, a cross-chain capable platform, especially something like an NFT-based one, are extremely sought after and are the way of Web3's future. Now, the fact that these guys are integrating with so many blockchains also gets me really, really excited. Now, another fantastic green flag is their commitment to a friendly and user-centric experience where hospitality comes first. They understand this is a new space and there'll be many questions and concerns, and therefore, they have expended many resources for the user to feel comfortable. All in all, guys, I think I'm really excited to see where this will actually go on launch day and I'm expecting big things from Y, and I hope the community does too. Now, I do apologize if I didn't cover quite as much as I normally do. This video was made on very short notice. However, I think you understand the urgency as the launch is today. And while that's gonna sum it all up, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. I would like some recommendations on what I should review next. And in saying that, I wish you all the very, very best, and I'll see you on the next one.